everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're having a crack at pulling dents. Big scary stuff. Um, some of you have seen my previous video, which was all about taking the scratches out of the clear coat that had been caused on the side of my lovely Navara NP300. And as part of polishing them out, I discovered a dent which I reckon was done by Cornwall as well. I'm blaming Cornwall for everything. And it's halfway between those two arrows for ease. Have everybody seen it? If I turn the camera, you can see. And it's not scratched the paint or split the paint. It's a dent. It's sort of a like a thumbprint almost. Somebody's pushed it in. Um, but I think it's a branch or a twig's got a good jab at it. And I thought to myself, uh, I've been watching some really great videos on YouTube recently about how you can uh, pull dents yourself and use slide hammers and bridges and all sorts of things. And I said, sod it, I've invested. And I've got all this kit, um, which I'll put a link to at the bottom in case you think it's good as well. A uh, company supplied it called Mookie, or Mookis, um, which sounds good fun. And I've got a slide hammer, I've got a bridge puller, I've got all sorts of pulling tabs, I've got glue, I've got a glue gun, which is oozing, I've got the world's tiniest rubber mallet, and some knocker downers, a few scrapers. And the only thing I've really provided is a bit of alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, in a squirty bottle. And I thought, right, let's find out if an enthusiastic amateur, which is me by the way, um, really can do something decent um, and to that end you can see I've got a GoPro attached to the side of the car which is ref looking at the reflection of these hatches beautifully arranged using masking tape on the side of my vehicle so this really is what can anybody do um, right so let's have a crack at this let's see how successful we are I'm blaming you lot as well right so I've got my glue gun warmed up. I'm gonna, uh, you get all these different tabs, different si sizes and shapes. Let's just uh, get the camera to sort its focus out. And the idea on this is I'm gonna put some glue in the middle. I'm not gonna use much because it's very scary. I'm gonna put it in the middle of my dent. I didn't squeeze it all out, I just pushed it on, quick, firm little push. The idea is you leave that for a period of time, the longer you leave it, the more firmly it's attached. Well, a bit scared, so we're going to get straight on. And the first uh, attempt, I don't know whether to use the slide hammer or this bridge puller thing. The bridge puller looks a lot more controlled, but it's sitting on your paintwork, I ain't keen. So, savage as it looks, we're going to have a go with the slide hammer. Wish me luck. Right, here we go then. Pull number one. Hook the slide hammer over. Oh, it's really got some tug. And off she comes. This is amazing guys. I don't know how clear it is on camera. I'll know when I edit it, but I can guarantee you that is a lot better than it was. Wow, quite chuffed. Um, right, I think I'm gonna do another one exactly the same. So, there's a little tab and it's got the rubber still on. I'm gonna leave that on because a lot of people say peel it off, others say leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on and go in the middle. Another little blob because I scared. Let's see if I can find the deepest part of the dent. Yeah, the um Slide hammer looks like a really vicious, nasty way of doing things. But 
logic says it's better because it's only pulling it's not pushing um i guess it'd be bad if it pulled the whole panel out but yeah a little bit of pull on the slide hammer feels more firmly attached because i left the glue on probably let's give it a good whack tell you if I wasn't doing this task I wouldn't find that one there's a tiny little dink I'm gonna give it one more go I think let's give it a little squirt this time now this stuff's supposed to come straight off with a bit of alcohol and it does that's a good sign interesting because it's actually got to the point where I'm struggling to see it so that's got to be good so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of tape either side you can see why people get these proper lights on flexi arms and um, proper stripy boards to help them with this because I can't actually see the stripey board. I've set it up for my GoPro for you guys. I put my head behind the GoPro. I can actually use it a little bit. So we'll have one more go. So this time I'm going to be a bit clever, he says, probably messing it all up and put it glue on there. On the grounds map, I can see what I'm doing. Put that on there, get rid of all the strings, it's like mozzarella. Hang that on there again, a bit of backwards tension, and oh, that one came off probably a little too easy. setting up I'm just gonna look at this bridge puller idea show you guys how it supposedly works sit it on the car hook it around the tab and then when you squeeze the handles it pulls I'm gonna give this a go yeah, I see it pulling the panel quite nicely there but I just think Maybe it's got a lot of risk for damage in the car. I'm going to risk this go, but the slide hammer will be more brief. There it goes. Well, it is still there. And I am going to persevere a little longer. But my instant conclusions are you can definitely do this stuff at home. And this can't be down to talent on my part. Very stringy. The kit comes with some different coloured sticks. So, well, it's currently clear, a bit yellow, he's got petrol coloured. Um, but there are not really any proper instructions with it. Some instructions about how to use a glue gun and how to use the bridge puller, as in, you know, technically how you make them operate, but nothing about how to do the task. So, um, really making it up as you go along. And I would like to know what's the difference between those sticks. If anybody does know who knows what they're doing and is watching me laughing their socks off, uh, give us a quick comment, just let us know, because I'm sure I'm not the only one who won't know and who would like to know what's the difference between the different colours of sticks. I know I haven't spent a lot on this kit, so if you're going to tell me that, who can tell because I've got cheap jack shit? Yeah, I know. Didn't know if I was going to like this. I think I like it. Uh, I started using the black because 
Um, most people are watching on YouTube, we're using black. Huh. How scientific. Um, we've got these nylon, I guess, sticks, which are knockdown sticks. You can definitely buy something that looks a lot prettier. It's a bit more like a metal punch with a um, nylon tip for knocking the dents back in. A little rubber and uh, harder rubber mallet. Some scrapers, which are to get the glue back off the panels. So there's this bridge tool, which I love the concept, but I've just got this theory, but when you're enjoying yourself pulling the tab, I know it's a big area relatively when you spread your load, but them are flat. And it's quite thin rubber over a metal plate. And again, I'm, I'm sure this is you know, very cheap, Jack, um, bit of kit. But most panels aren't flat, and they're going to be trying to flatten it. I'm just wondering whether they're going to put in more damage when they take out. I'll just play with that on something that doesn't matter quite so much, I think. And there's a glue gun, bit of kit. And again, not, it's not an expensive. Um, came with. There's the distortion. That's what we're looking at. And that's about it. It's so improved. Again, really struggling to see this thing. Just here. Yeah. That is very, very close to being perfect. I don't want to go any further with that. I've chickened out at that stage and I'm quite impressed with myself. So I have no problems with it whatsoever. Let's just give you a last shot of where we're at. So, we're leaving it. Where's it gone? It is. Well, this is a good sign. It's a good sign, isn't it? Really struggling there. It is halfway oh, between the arrows. There it is. Got it in there. There we go. If I come off there, you really can't see it. So our conclusion has to be that an enthusiastic amateur um, plus some pretty cheap kit is capable of doing a half decent job at removing dents from body panels using the gluing technique. Um, really was an expensive kit guys. So I'll put a link below so you can check it out. Prices change all the time. And you can definitely buy far more expensive kit than I've got or far cheaper <laughs> kit than I've got as well. Um, but I think it's worth having a go. You should not be scared off by this. Well, I've got um, a really big dent in the bonnet of my XK8, and my dad has got an even bigger dent in the door of his Citroen. So um, with this newfound confidence, um, we will be having a crack at those soon to see if this kit really can do some, uh, some decent repairs. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. It does help me out in uh, getting more interest in the channel. Um, give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us your comments, good, bad or indifferent, I don't mind. And as a lot of you already realised, if you do comment and uh, it's half interesting, I'll reply because uh, I enjoy all this sort of stuff. Um, and we'll see you soon on to the garage doing more fun stuff. I really must get the gravity racer out. So I'm going to finish this video with a little walk towards the garage and a sneaky peek at its resting place at the moment. See you soon.